Welcome to a Grace Digital presentation. In this video, we will cover problems of unanswered prayer. A person who is not fully committed to God and who prays with mixed purposes will likewise see few prayers answered. An example here is the rich young ruler who came to Jesus seeking eternal life. Jesus saw the man's heart and knew that he loved his riches, his home, and his fast, happy-go-lucky life more than he loved God. Jesus told him to sell all his properties and give them to the poor. Luke 18.22 says, When Jesus heard his answer, he said, There is still one thing you haven't done. Sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But because of his riches, his security, and his selfishness, the man said, I can't do it. I don't want to follow you to that extent. And the Bible tells us that the young man sadly walked away from eternal life because he was unwilling to release his heart of the sin of selfishness. His love for money separated him from God. A man doesn't have to be wealthy to hold back from God. Even a little money can hinder a man serving God. And when money stands between a man and God, he will not get his prayers answered. It is only when a man opens the totality of all that he is and possesses that God can open the windows of heaven to him and pour out true riches upon him. There are other hindrances to prayer, such as unconfessed sin. If I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Psalm 66, 18. If I see sin in my own heart and ignore it, God will not hear me, David said, thus stating an unequivocal biblical principle. Likewise, if God sees sin in my heart, my prayers will not be answered. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Isaiah 59, 1-2 if there is strife between a husband and wife, the husband's prayers will not be answered. 1 Peter 3.7 says, Husbands, in the same way be considerate as you live with your wives, and treat them with respect as the weaker partner, and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life, so that nothing will hinder your prayers. The same principle applies to the woman. If they abuse their husbands, their prayers will not be answered either. Where there is domestic tranquility, answers to prayer abound. But strife, bickering, cynicism, sarcasm, and general lack of peace in a home guarantee that prayers will not be answered. Idolatry Idolatry of any kind is also a hindrance to prayer. Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them that which causes them to stumble into iniquity. Should I let myself be inquired of it all by them? Ezekiel 14.4 And the implied answer is an unequivocal no. See, though, God's placement of idols, in their hearts and before them. What we think about and what we love to feast our eyes upon become idols, and idols prevent God's hearing our prayers. An unforgiving spirit also limits answered prayer. If anyone has slandered or spoken evil of you, disappointed you, or if he has actually done you physical or financial harm, you must forgive him because if you do not forgive, you will actually prevent your own prayers from being heard. A bad spirit makes prayer totally ineffective. Mark 11:25 says, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Being inconsiderate of the poor hinders prayer. He sees, hears, and answers, or not. If a man shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, he too will cry out and not be answered. This verse speaks of a man who shuts his ears and doesn't listen to those who need help. Proverbs 21, 13. Generosity and Christian victory go hand in hand. Much prayer is unnoticed and unanswered for the simple reason that we are deaf to the cries of human need. Hardness of our hearts stops God's giving to us. Delay is not denial. Lastly, we need to carry in mind that dealing with delayed answers to prayers is one of the most significant problems concerning prayer. We have all encountered daily answers to prayer. If you are impatient and expect or demand an instant answer to your prayer, a delay might seem a denial, when an hour, a day, or a month later will prove you mistaken. God answered your prayer, though not at the precise moment you uttered the request. 
An illustration of this is to be seen in John's writings. Mary and Martha's brother was very ill, and the sisters prayed that their brother's strength would be restored. Despite their prayers, Lazarus died and was laid in a tomb. Indeed, to the sisters and friends of Lazarus, it seemed that their prayers had been to no avail. After a few days, when Jesus spoke the words of resurrection power, they realized that their prayers had not been denied. The answer was merely postponed. If you have been praying for a situation and the answer has not come immediately, please don't give up in discouragement. If you have been living right and praying right, your prayers will be answered. You can count on it. Ten lepers came to Jesus begging, praying to be healed. Though he spoke words of encouragement to them, they were not immediately healed. But as they obeyed him, they were healed. Again, delay was not a denial. Their earnest prayer was answered. Read the account in Luke 17. And behold, a woman of Canaan cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed, Matthew 15, 22. A worried mother wept and pleaded that Jesus would heal her daughter, but Jesus seemed not to hear her. Courageous, the woman worshiped him and asked him again. The disciples, wearied with her entreaties, wanted to send her away, but the woman persisted and her request was granted, not a denial, only a delay. My friend, if your earnest prayer seems not to have been answered, if your healing is not complete, if your need is not entirely met, don't become discouraged. Don't give up. If you are living right and praying right, you are experiencing only a delay, not a denial. Father, Father, I am just an ordinary man who needs to learn and to practice the secrets you are showing me in this book. I trust you, Lord, to lead me away from anything that could interfere in my relationship to you or my wife. In closing, we pray that all the limitations placed on your prayers be removed. To watch our video on spiritual authorities and high places, click here.